you got it's a game against Marshall. I know the fans get all excited about the NC State of the world, but as far as your concern is, this is the biggest game on the schedule. It's the next game, right? Yeah. Pretty much. All I worry about is the next game. I don't really care who I'm playing. It's just the same kicks no matter who's on the other side of the ball. If you guys going against Marshall and be able to push a record of 4-0, how important is it to hold serve at home? Well, that would that would obviously be very big for us if we could manage to get uh, four home wins before and on the conference and hit the road again try and get some more wins. A lot of the fans, are they, they look at Marshall as a friendly rival because of the history, the playing crash, and the, and the games they've had over the years. Do the players, when you guys look at this thing, do you, do you look at Marshall any differently than UTEP or Southern Miss? For you guys, is it just another Conference USA East opponent? You know, I don't know. It's always going to be in the back of your mind. It happened quite some time ago before any of us really were around. But, you know, I mean, I've never played them before. I don't really have any hard feelings against them. It's not really oh, like an intense rivalry like NC State, but, you know, it should be a good game. You impressed with the way the, the fans responded this past week, in the Boneyard especially? Was that was that bananas or what, man? Oh, yeah, that was that was, that was pretty uh, pretty great experience, seeing everybody just go nuts. And, I, and they brought out the barrel. I, I didn't even know about the barrel at first. I was like, oh, I guess that's pretty cool. You know how many Marshall, that's what's important, and you guys this week can't have a letdown week. This is the kind of thing where this team really has got to show a lot of strength and maturity, isn't it? Can you talk about that? Uh, you know, Marshall's a good team. They're real athletic. They have a lot of, you know, athletic athletic players. Um, they're a good team at times. I just don't think they really believe in themselves as much. But, um, you know, we're just preparing as if, you know, we're playing you know, the best team every single week, so we're just going to keep worrying about us more than anything. You know, is there a danger when you play a team like a, like a Marshall that they've got nothing to lose? They're coming in here and, hey, they can they, you guys are the two-time defending champs before you got here, but it doesn't matter. East Carolina, two-time defending champs. Um, it really doesn't matter who we're playing each week. Each week is you know a dangerous week because you can lose and beat anybody at any time, especially in college and uh, also in the NFL. So we prepare you know the same for each week like we uh, you know, like we haven't won, even won a game yet. You feel like you have the bullseyes on your back? Uh, we always have a bullseye on our back, especially being the back-to-back -back conference champs. Talk about this past week now, and, and uh, did you when, you when you sit down and you think about it? All right, when you look at the iconic images and photographs of big pirate games in years past, you remember the Luke Fisher catch, heck, even Justin Jones catch in the first game. You think about those things. Your interception defines that huge win. Do you, do you ever look at it? Do you think of it like that? I, I really don't think about it like that. Um, it's hard, you know, when Justin Jones caught that catch, I was like, all right, that was a huge play. But when I think about me doing it, it's just. I just think about it just being me, you know, it's I, it's hard to think of, you know, people have been texting me and stuff, you know, you're famous now, and I'm not famous, I'm just, you know, same old 19-year-old damn magazine, just who I've always been, simple, you know, just who I am. And you saying your name right First of all, man, you talk about this this series against Marshall, and there's a lot of history that goes. You, I know you guys are so young; you don't remember a lot of stuff, obviously, but you know about it. You're cognizant of of what happened in the series history. Can you talk about Marshall? Um, I just know every time we play Marshall, uh, they always give us their best shot. Uh, it's, it's always gonna come down to the wire each and every time we play Marshall. And that's how it's been here ever since I've been. Here. So, I mean, we're expecting a good hard ball game from Marshall. They, it's, they've got nothing to lose, and you guys have the bull, the bullseyes on your backs, don't you? Yeah, I mean, it was like this, um, I think my red shirt freshman year, uh, when we went down to Marshall, and uh, they kind of, it was kind of the same situation. Um, I think we was um, going to take over in the East, and then Marshall, uh, I think they had like kind of a losing record, and then uh, they came in there and beat us. So uh, that's something that we uh, <clears throat> just kept in the back of our head each and every year that we played Marshall. It's almost like remembering a game like that is something you can teach these younger guys is, hey, look, we can't overlook a Marshall. Yeah. Is that about right? And uh, we got a lot of those guys, like my Dustin linebacker, uh, guys that are older than me that, you know, definitely remember that uh, loss going down there too. So uh, a lot of guys were here and were able to experience that loss, and uh, I think it'll help us uh, grow this week.